this is a regrams relation problem we have been given this particular relation t of n that is defined as t of n by 2 plus t of 2n by 5 plus 7n for all positive values of n and otherwise when n is 0 then t of n is taken as simply 1 so for this particular regrams relation we have to determine its complexity so for this how can we proceed using the regrams tree method that would be the easiest one as we can see the size of the total problem is 7n so we start creating its recurrence tree in this way it is divided into two parts t of n by 2 which means 7 times of n by 2 plus t of 2n by 5 which means 7 times 2n by 5 these are our levels level 0 level 1 level 2 and so on our tree will be constructed then from the 7n by 2 it is again divided into 2 t of n by 2 which means 7 times n by 2 squared and t of 2n by 5 means this thing will simply be divided by 5 making it 7 times of 2n by 10 so this is how we will construct the tree and at every level we find out the total cost for example at level 0 it is simply 7n but at level 1 we will sum these up 7n by 2 plus 14 and by 5 we will take the LCM and add them up and then we will be getting 7 will be taken as common so it results into 7 times of 9 by 10 and that is shown over here similarly if we take the total size of the problem at level 2 it turns out to be 7 times of 9 by 10 squared n and so on now the thing to note over here is what are the two sizes of the sub problems that we have it is n by 2 and 2n by 5 these are the two sizes into which n is being divided at every level but out of these we can see n by 2 is greater so if we want to find out the upper bound and the lower bound for this problem then the upper bound would be given by the larger one while the lower bound will be given by the smaller problem so as we can see if n by 2 is greater and this n by 2 corresponds to the this leftmost subtree of this uh, recurrence tree and similarly this 2n by 5 corresponds to the rightmost subtree because in the leftmost subtree all the problems are being divided by 2 every time it is 7n by 2 7n by 2 squared 7n by 2 cubed and so on and similarly on the right hand side the problem is always being divided by a factor of 2n by 5 so what we will be doing is for calculating the upper bound and for calculating the lower bound we will be using the leftmost subtree and the rightmost subtree respectively this upper bound will be determined by the leftmost subtree and lower bound will be determined by the rightmost subtree this is for the lower bound and then using both the upper bound and the lower bound we will estimate what is its exact time complexity so for that we will need the height of this leftmost subtree and the rightmost subtree so as it can be seen in this leftmost subtree the problem is being halved every time it is being divided by n by 2 partition it is being made so the height of this leftmost subtree would be given by log of n to the base 2 and similarly on the right hand side the height of the tree will be log of n to the base 5 by 2 so we have the heights of both the left subtree as well as the right subtree so now we can go for calculating the upper bounds and the lower bound let us see how that can be done starting with the upper bound for this problem that will be given by this leftmost subtree we will be adding up all the values we encounter on that path in this way 7n plus 7 9 by 10 n plus 7 9 by 10 squared n but as you can see this will proceed up to the number of levels in the tree and number of levels is same as the height of the tree that is given by this particular expression log n to the base 2 so this thing will proceed up to 7 times 9 by 10 
टू द पावर लॉग एन टू द बेस टू एन सो दिस इज वॉट विल गिव अस द अपर बाउंड सो वी विल से दैट T of n is less than or equal to this particular expression because it is giving the upper bound. And when we calculate this thing using the geometric progression, it will give us 70 n minus a particular term in the geometric expression when you apply the formula 1 minus r is 2 n plus 1 upon 1 minus r. So this thing will be something positive and 70 n minus of something, which means it is almost. as it can be seen t of n can be written as big o of n the upper bound is found to be linear from this and on the same grounds when we look for the rightmost subtree for calculating the lower bound of this tree then what we'll be doing is we'll say t of n is greater than or equal to the expression would be same except that the last term would be replaced over here this Two will be replaced by five by two because that is the height of the rightmost subtree. The geometric progression found here is same, just the last term is different. So for this, we will say t of n is greater than or equal to this particular expression, 70 n minus some expression. So again, it turns out to be t of n equal to. Now this was the case of lower bound, so we will be using omega of n. So we have got both linear. Upper bound is big O of n, lower bound is omega of n. So combining both of them, we can say that the average case complexity of it can be said to be the theta of n, linear complexity for this problem. So for this one, we will be going with the third option, that is linear time complexity theta of n.